happy, merry Christmas Eve morning to you and your family. We wanted to take a few minutes and just spend some time with you on this morning. We hope we'll see you tonight for the lighting of the Christ candle, but let's enjoy a time worshiping together as families. Sing, oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. We give you. so much for leading us in worship this morning, Jeff. One of the things we like to do at our house is to sit around and to read together from the Jesus Storybook Bible. Whether you're five or 85 or 105, the truths of scripture shine through this book. Today, we're gonna read from the Christmas story in the Jesus Storybook Bible. It's titled, He's Here. Everything was ready. The moment God had been waiting for was here at last. God was coming to help his people just as he promised in the beginning. But how would he come? What would he be like? What would he do? Mountains would have bowed down, seas would have roared, trees would have clapped their hands, but the earth held its breath. As silent as snow falling, he came in. And when no one was looking in the darkness, he came. There was a young girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph was the great, great, great grandson of King David. One morning, this girl was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared right there in her bedroom. He was Gabriel and he was an angel, a special, special messenger from heaven. And when she saw the tall man standing there, Mary was frightened. You don't need to be scared, Gabriel said. God is very happy with you. Mary looked around to see if perhaps he was talking to someone else. Mary, Gabriel said, and he laughed with such gladness that Mary's eyes filled with sudden tears. Mary, you're going to have a baby, a little boy. You will call him Jesus. He is God's own son. He's the one, he's the rescuer. The God who flung planets into space and kept them whirling around and around. The God who made the universe with just a word. The one who could do anything at all was making himself small and coming down as a baby. Wait, God was sending a baby to rescue the world? But it's too wonderful, Mary said, and her heart, and felt her heart beating hard. How can it be true? Is anything too wonderful for God, Gabriel asked? So Mary trusted God more than what she could see, and she believed. I am God's servant, she said. Whatever God says, I will do. Sure enough, it was just as the angel had said. 
Nine months later, Mary was almost ready to have her baby. Now Mary and Joseph had to make a trip to Bethlehem, the town King David was from. But when they reached the little town, they found every room was full. Every bed was taken. Go away, the innkeepers told them. There isn't any place for you. Where would they stay? Soon Mary's baby would come. They couldn't find anywhere except an old tumble down stable. So they stayed where the cows and the donkeys and the horses stayed. And there in the stable, among the chickens and the donkeys and the cows, in the quiet of the night, God gave the world his wonderful gift. The baby that would change the world was born, his baby son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him up to keep him warm. They made a soft bed of straw and used the animal's feeding trough as his cradle. They gazed in wonder at God's great gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us because of course he had. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we give you thanks for your great gift, for the birth of your son, Jesus, who has come to rescue us. Amidst the busyness of Christmas Eve and of Christmas Day and all the festivities and family time, help us to keep our eyes and our minds and our hearts fixed on you, on the miracle that is your son. We pray these things in his name, amen.